that's a very important point you just made. Is it took me a long time to realize that point. For so many years, this was my entire life. This was my life. It's all I cared about. And the discipline you learn from this lifestyle, if you can learn to carry that on into the rest of your life, you can do anything. You know, because the discipline you put into these sports is just unbelievable. You know, I mean, to me, it's 24 hours a day. You're eating, you're training, you're, it's just constant. And if you could take that and put it into other things, you can accomplish anything. And for many years, dude, this was all I cared about. And so I was just the best, I wanted to be the best I could be. You know, it took me a long time to, to diversify, you know, and to think about other things and use everything you learn from this and other aspects of life. Right. You know? So I agree. that's very important, is, uh, you know, being successful along with you know, taking away from this and doing other things. There's so many athletes that they never achieve their goals and what they're trying to do, but then they also don't have anything else. So when they're 50, 60, they didn't actually achieve what they wanted to achieve, but they have nothing else also. So it's kind of to diversify your goals and continue pushing all areas and you have a lot of things to achieve. You know, there's there's you know, a lot of our friends that we grew up with, trained in Hollywood, are, you know, they, they started bodybuilding at 16, 17 years old, and they're still competing in the, you know, the Masters Nationals, trying to get that pro card. Yeah. And it's like, it's not gonna fucking happen. Yeah. Dude, it's not gonna happen. You've been competing for 25 years. It's not gonna happen. You know? yeah. I, I, I don't want to tell them that. I want to tell them that, but I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you feel bad, but it's like, you know, nothing, else, level. nothing else in life. It's great that they gave everything to it, but, you know, maybe they didn't give enough to it because maybe they would have reached their goals. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Because you got to train harder and you got to eat harder and you got to be smarter and you just, you need to go in there with no doubt and you know before you even hit that platform, that weight's already done. Before you even get it, you know? And another important aspect is you've got to have a partner that is there with you and understands completely about that world. And if you don't have that, that will destroy you. It will destroy you. So that's yeah. very important. Yeah. Is that having someone there that understands they're with you, they're going through the steps, and uh, mentally, they're keeping you on track. And uh, anything else in that, it's over. It's done. Well, I gotta be honest. The person, who is your head person on your team, the day that you compete, you shouldn't have to think about anything. You should just be the machine, the performer, and they deal with everything else. You know, now, you know, Seraphine McDonald's my workout partner. She takes care of everything for me. And, uh, you know, I don't need to think. Yeah. You know, she makes sure that I'm fed at the meet. She makes sure that I have everything for, you know, everything in place. Yeah. You know, everything has to be perfect. And I've trained her to know what I need. Yeah. You I know, and, and she's there. She's there and she does, you know, what I what I need done. No questions asked. Did you know that she's got this five percenter thing? I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's five percent of the world that do what we do. You know. About that tribe, there's only five percent that are. Yeah, that's it. It's such a true saying. It's like a genius, man. I'm like, man. But but it really means something. I mean, you know, what he's talking about is a is a reality. You know? Who I mean, I'll let you talk about it. <laughs> well, it's not just it's not just um, doing it, it's enjoying it. You know, it's actually living the lifestyle and enjoying it. That's the important part is that. You, know, you don't want to be doing something you don't enjoy. You're not going to be engaged. You're not going to become a champion if you don't enjoy it. He loves what he does. That's why he's got what he's got. He loves it. He loves being in the gym. This is his home. He has his own gym. So that's that's the most important part is you know, enjoying what you do, loving what you do. And uh, that's you what know, you do further than you know, doing. There's so many competitive bodybuilders that I know that the reason they do it, they're, they're not happy. They're torturing themselves. Diet, cardio. Okay, cardio. Oh, I got two more meals to eat. I'll show you the thought. You know, it's like, why are you doing this? If you're all you do is pitch and play enough. You know, if you don't enjoy it, you don't enjoy it. You're on stage, you're not going to play for that attitude. If you're complaining all the way the 
whole time and how you come in. You, know, you should be enjoying what you're doing. Enjoy the journey. The journey is more important than the trophy. You know, so, like the, the life he's led, even when he does the gym, he's loved it. He's enjoyed it. So that's more important than all the trophies he's won, all the records he's held. It's just live it's right. life and enjoy what you do. So, you know, there's certain people that, that just love it, crave it, enjoy it, do it because they love it. You know, that's, that's kind of the five percent. You know, they just really love it to do. There's, you go to the gym, there's, there's 200 people at the gym. How many people are really having a good time enjoying it? How many people are just like, this sucks. I don't want to do it. You know, that attitude is like, go fucking home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. <laughs> Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness.com